beautifully priced eight voices a polyphony baby 60 rgb backlit performance pad eight synth engines three effects types non-customizable combo knobs arpeggiator 64 step sequencer polyphonic aftertouch it's got the works and man the price is Mm, so sweet at $499. This poly end synth is dropping today when you got synthesizers like the Teenage Engineering, OPYZ dropping, or OPY, or whatever they call it, for $2,300. That's not a value proposition. This may be the best value synthesizer for $499 that you can probably get right now, all around music production little box, baby. And if you don't believe me, believe Vulture Culture, because he did the best videos on it. So today we're gonna go over that a little bit. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a deep dive. But in the beginning, let's just go over a refresher of what this little beautiful thing's all about. Here it is. Don't believe me. Don't believe your lying eyes. That's $499 for all this. Sweet water right now, add it to the cart. You can buy it. When I got home today, I was like, dude, if this ain't on back order, I might just go and purchase it. Cause I got the cheese and this is saying please okay so we go down here just do a quick little little look through we'll jump over to the poly insight let's read the copyright real quick ignition start eight engines of evocative polyphonic potential poly ends no frills no effort spared approach to designing and building its galvanizing multi-mode instruments is evidenced by the names of the company's offerings. This synth is no exception. Like the permutations of the track or the play before it, the synth, a multi-engine polyphonic synthesizer packed with a kaleidoscope of creativity, stirring and teeming with electric fever just beneath the surface of its streamlined minimalist interface is synth engines galore, FX galore, lanes galore rgb silicon sweet touch pads galore it's got it all baby this is an all-in-one groove box that in the beginning i kind of just poo pooed it but after checking it out man we got a song we're gonna gear up in a minute you'll be able to hear all the sounds we're gonna check out a video a little pros and cons from vulture culture we're also gonna check out poly N's website because it looks like it's beautifully crafted for a deep dive but let's get into over here real quick and see this Poly and synth, a playful, multi-timbral, multi-engine polyphonic synthesizer, all right? This is from Synth Anatomy, the greatest website out there ever. If you don't know, now you know. I'm the reviewer of the review that the reviewers have reviewed, all right? That's just what I am. If you, if you don't know, now you know. Welcome. Welcome to Samurai Nation. Probably the, the most fun community on the internet for synthesizers, all right? You know it, I know it. Welcome, baby. Everybody's welcome in Samurai Nation. Let's roll. Okay. Let me turn that music down a little bit. Always. There we go. Okay. Multi timbral synthesizers can be playful, hands on, blah, blah, blah. Polly N shows us that this is the end of year surprise, right in time for a stocking stuffer. If you got those big old socks like my mama used to make me. Poly and synth. Original name? Not really, but it's very simple. You got the play, you got the synth now. Using a smart grid feature, synthesizer engine is loaded. It's independently with pads. For example, it's got an arpeggiator sequencer in the first. You can throw a pad on the second. It's grid formatted. If you've used the deluge or circuits or uh, the play or any of these kind of things, you kind of know what this is all about. It allows you to play three sounds simultaneously on a portable device with expressivity using polyphonic aftertouch that, come on, baby. That's the, that's the two words of the year, polyphonic aftertouch. If you don't got it, then you don't got it. And there's a couple synthesizers out there for $3,500, baby. You damn well sure have some polyphonic aftertouch in it. Chord mode's intriguing. According to Poly N, you can set two engines to followers which adjust their notes according to the current chord. Super cool. Scale locks helps maintain musicality by keeping everything within a set of scales, which is always nice if you're trying to groove. Beautiful, man. I gotta say, I do like the design. We got. We got these buttons over here, the tracker buttons, man. We got the knobs, we got the RGBs, it's gorgeous. Piktor Raznitsky, however you say that, founder of Polyan says, our goal was to develop a device that merges complexity with true playability. The synth is designed for musicians who want accessibility, but a sonically rich experience. And it's packed with engines, multi-engines. Polyan synth is not only multi-timbral, but it has a multi-engine to its core, so it's a true multi-synth. Eight unique synth engines, 
absolutely awesome. Maximum eight voices for the entire synthesizers. Low bit. All right, $4.99. We got Waves engines. We got WTFM engines. We got the PMD engine. We got grain engines, all right? We got tons of engines in this thing, tons of sound shaping, but I could read this to you all day. You know what we came for. Let's check out a video on this. We jump over here. Here's uh, here's the all, we had a we had a Synth Mafia Tsunami. Oh, not Synth Mafia, sorry. I've changed everything. Since the Synthesizer All-Star. We had a Synthesizer All-Star release and we had everyone, baby. We had, uh, we had Sonic State. We had Bo Beats. We had the Harp Lady, Emily. Changed to Harp Lady now, I guess. I think her name's Emily. We had Old Gazzy Boy. We got them all, baby. Look at them. We got Andertons, which we'll show in a little bit. So anyways, we had the Tsunami come out. And look at our boy, LFO Voyager, hitting 2.1K with his Moog Muse Poly video. Congratulations, my baby. That was a super hit. You worked hard. You deserve it. All right. So let's jump on over. This is Poly and Sight. Surprisingly, they don't have many videos up. But they got one, which is just the sounds and everything like that. But we're going to check something out a little different. We're going to start off with Vulture Culture for the pros and cons. We've got Toman just to get a little deep dive because this is a website. If you want to buy it over in Europe, you can go to their website. So we like helping them out. Biggest synth supplier in Europe. Let's roll. A few days ago, I received a package and I was very stoked to see that Polyend is releasing a new synth. So let's check it out together, have a walkthrough of the basic functions. But first, let's jam a little bit. Sounds pretty sweet, right? Uh, right off the bat, let's get a first look at the layout. Polyphony with three different engines at the same time. At the first look, it has some similarities to the Trekker. I do really like the simple and classic design, so it's yeah, really clean. It feels like high quality when you turn the encoders. It's you actually have to put weight in it and also the pads are really like stable they are velocity sensitive and everything is like really let's say yeah has some quality to it let's dive into the structure of the synth because as mentioned you have the grid here and this is kind of important because compared to a more classic synthesizer let's say you usually have the key roll uh, play keys but here you can play pads and actually you can play three different synthesizers at the same time. I think this might introduce a different way of or a different approach to playing uh, a synthesizer and especially live perhaps. For the basic layout of the synthesizer, as mentioned, we have the uh, grid section down here and we can choose how we want to structure the grid. Uh, right now we have three different synthesizers layout. This is like the first one, this is the second one, and the third one. We can change presets here by pressing shift and then preset. And because I'm choosing the blue one, this one is here and lighted. I hope you can see it. Uh, we Screen looks good too, man. I gotta say, it, it looks good. It looks real good. Uh, it's an interesting way. Like I said, I'm, a, I'm approaching this from a different style thing. I think, uh, what's his name? Synth Seeker did a vid video a little while ago about the Ableton move which is a cool little synthesizer but to me this blows the able to move right out of the water dude big time use the preset of just this one so perhaps let's take a snare let's do it and now here's a different one and here actually is also a different one but we can change this grid as well if you just want to control so you got three synths at the same time you see it's kind of interesting layout the sound engines are pretty sweet man oh so let's say the blue run right now we have to go to this main knob, let's say. And if we go into the grid, we can use this one here. And then you see it's switching. This is like three by three, uh, blue. And then we have the grid completely just for one engine. So let's have a look on the... For a traditional, for a traditional synthesizer guy who likes keyboards, I know Echo and Uncle Jerry are traditional keyboard synthesizer dudes, but 
and they're not really into these groove boxes but for 4.99 if you want to test something out and experience something pretty cool it's a totally different way to sketch out ideas uh i'm not sure we'll see now in a minute if we can midi this up to be kind of a little brain or something i don't know it's but it is definitely a very interesting proposition at $499. A section. And here we will find the uh, engine knob, which is there to uh, change the parameter. If you're not getting my notifications because I'm too hot for TV, baby, I'm been banned, shadow banned, I think. I post too much, so YouTube's got me throttled. So you got to find me on your own. We just got to bust through the ceiling. Cars or characters of the engine you have chosen. And in this case, we can switch the engines on those buttons here, the blue, yellow, and purple one. So let's stick with the yellow one. This one is set to ACD, which is uh, the classic analog uh, mode, let's say. And uh, on the engine, depending on the engine you are choosing, those parameters will change. In this case, we have the saw to square ratio. Right? So, I mean, it operates similar to a synth. We get that there, brother. Let's check out the effects. Don't hit me with an ad, come on. And down here, we will find the sequencer because you're actually able to sequence it and use an arpeggiator. When it comes to effects, the synth is coming with two basic onboard effects, delay and reverb, plus you have a lot of modulation options. You know we love onboard effects, right? Let's check out the different engines. This was the ACD mode, so the classic uh, one oscillator analog mode. This I know I say this every time, but I'm probably getting this. So we got effects, we just hear some sounds, let's go. Square wave anymore, it's more uh, fatness and brightness. And let's go. Big sound. All right, let's check out another engine. Let's check out the waves engine, chord mode. One voice, depending on what you you already got let's go let's stick to this one and we can mode with chords and we can check check out the vap engine you get the idea right phd let's take engine. this one and let's see what this one and the grains engine give you right so that's kind of cool man let's jump on over here and see what else we got lined up I got a, just a sounds demo we'll go through real quick and then we'll move into a deeper dive. This blows away the OPXY, blows it away. 500 bucks, not 2300. Kids, what? what do you call the NordVPN Black Friday deal? I don't the need Black no VPNs, Friday my bro. Deal. All right, so as you can see, we'll check the sounds. I'm going to do a deeper dive here now in a second, but as you can see, this thing at $499 right here, I think you're quids in with this, baby. Let's just get to the specs. Here's all the engines you get, right? We get the poly engine multi-mode, on-phase distortion synthesis team with tons of tones and textures. You get the PMD using state-of-the-art physical modeling technology, okay? You got the grain mode. This is a dual, gra dual mode granular synthesizer. You got the waves, the morphing waves, thanks to the multiple wave tables alongside extensive scanning. You got the VAP, the poly synth dual oscillator architecture inspired by the multi-mode Multitude of time tested hardware synths, perfect for rich layered pads, plenty of dimension. You got the fat engine, constellation of vintage style ladder filters and three oscillators. You got the ACD, the O to the iconic mono synths. This thing is packed to the brim, it's overflowing with madness. You got the WFM, WTFM, an FM synthesis engine, okay? Textural, trim, and vibrate, whatever that is, three lanes, customizable effects. You got mod, modulation effects, you know what they are, chorus, flanger, stereo span, delay, reverb, 
all the beautiful you got the rhythm you got the hands on you got it all but let's check it out right here for a real quick look at what the actual bottom line specs are multi-engine polyphonic synthesizer eight engines just read them out to you there's all the acronyms high res lcd 60 silicon pads nine parameter knobs plus pitch span tempo and swing you got an eight voice polyphonic synthesizer you got three reverb five delays and four modulation effects you got three independent 64 step sequencers did you hear me three independent 64 step sequencers micro sd card for obviously you get a 16 gigabyte card included with it usb powered and it's beautiful all right so we're going to get into a deep dive here now in a sec for anyone who just wants to leave and you just showed up now for a little bit of a good time to see the quick and dirty about the poly end synth an absolute steal of a deal for 499 dollars like i said man i'm just doing this for the love of it and i think i'm in love with this thing i might actually buy it